Hello, um, my name is George Wilkerson, and I'm the assistant director of vocal, uh, assistant director of instrumental music here um, at Calvert Hall, and I'm also the coordinator of percussion. Um, so before we start the concert, I'd like to start um, how we do everything here at Calvert Hall, and that's with prayer. All right? So let's remember we are in the holy presence of God, and Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings and talents you have bestowed upon us. We ask that you continue to bless the performance tonight and help them relieve any anxiety they may have and to be with them as they share their talents with all in attendance, whether it be in person or live streamed. We ask that you be with everyone as we continue to deal with this pandemic and please keep us all safe and healthy. We ask this in your heavenly name. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So, um, I'm a singer. Can you hear me? Guys, get here. All right, because for some reason it's really kind of muffled, and I'm not real sure. Whatever. Um, I have a mask on too. So here we go. Um, so I'm grateful um, that we actually have the chance to make music live again. Uh, last week we had our jazz showcase, and it was the first time that the theater has been used since December 2019. Um, for the Christmas concert. Uh, a little bit after that, we did the jazz showcase. But um, for me, like, again, this is uh, my first time um, with the uh, percussion ensemble since two years ago. All right, um, I was thinking today that this is the first time I brought out this little thing right here um, since December 2019, little platonic here. So I'm really thankful that you're able to um, come and see this and experience this with us. Um, so, I'm, I'm all about themes. So um, the theme for this concert is percussion as seen through different areas of the fine arts. So it's kind of like an interdisciplinary kind of concert. All right, so we have our first piece, which is called The Flight of the Bumblebee. And a lot of people think of okay, it's a very symphonic work. It's actually from an opera. So um, if you know me, I'm, I sing hi. All right, so I like opera. So it's pretty cool that we get to start with that. Then we go into this piece that's called Mosaics. Um, it's a drum piece. So if you think about mosaic, it's with visual art, like with all the different colors um, and tiles. And whatnot. So that's going to the visual arts. Then for the next piece, which actually has four parts, it's called Absence of Color. And that deals with, again, color. So thinking about the visual arts. So we have the um, parting of color, right? And then we have the absence of color, then a return of color, and like I'll talk a little bit more about this when we get to the, um, and you, you'll actually be able to hear the different things that are explained in the uh, visual arts there. And then we end with pictures at an exhibition um, for our first half, which um, many know as a symphonic work, but they were also inspired by visual um, artworks, all right? And then when we get to the second act, I'll talk a little bit more about that. The second act deals with theater and dance. All right, so I hope you enjoy the concert and God bless us.
So, um, as I talked about on last piece, on next piece is mosaics. Um, this is a bunch of colors. However, the colors are coming from the timbre of the many instruments that we have. All right. So we have timpani, we have we have snare, bass drum, some concert toms, various um, tambourines that create different types of colors of sound. So hopefully you enjoy this. This is called mosaics. Great, so our next piece is called Absence of Color. It's absence of Color. Um, ironically, they actually use the percussion that we have just did in mosaics to create different colors in the part that has absence. So it's kind of weird. So the first part is called parting. So it starts off with various colors of the mallets. All right, and then we go to the next one, which is called absence which uses body percussion and unpitched percussion. Then we get to the third movement, which is called Alone. And it's very more like a soundscape. And then we have our last movement, which is called The Return. Right? So 
without further ado, this is Absence of Color.
Okay, thank you. And that was um, let's cover all percussion ensemble. Um, it's been a weird year. All right. Um, so percussion ensemble usually meets um, twice a cycle, and when we only meet really once a week, and it kind of rotates, we don't see each other very often. So I really appreciate all the work that they've done um, trying to build this back up. So thank you again, Percussion Ensemble. Thank you. Awesome. So at this point, we're going to have a brief intermission so we can be um, set up. So um, when you see the lights flicker, um, please come back. And we'll enjoy the second act. Thank you.
Great. All right. So now we're about to start our second act. All right. Thank you for um, waiting. Um, so here's the thing about the Caval percussion. We have 28 percussionists. And that was the re main reason why I wanted to do all the percussion on this concert. So when you have 28 percussionists and three concert bands that only have, let's say, four parts per um, song, they need something to do. So I um, wanted to give them a little bit of a chance to do something. So with our concert situation this, this year, um, the concert band and the symphonic band are joining together. Um, Again, still way too many percussionists. So I decided for my contraband percussionists, they're going to do something special by themselves. Right? So this piece is called It Came From the Garage. It's originally written for trash cans, buckets, and everything. And I was thinking, hmm, we were learning all the rhythms. I was like, this probably sound really good on battery. The one thing these guys missed is during the fall season, I like to have my... Um, you guys kind of play around on the battery drums like at football games so they get used to the instruments and um, get to experience it a little bit. They didn't have that because we didn't have football. So um, decided let's go and put everything on um, the battery percussion. So this is kind of a little bit of a remix of It Came From The Garage. Also, because of COVID, all right, we have kids that have to go into quarantine every now and then and whatnot. So we are missing up um, a freshman. And we have Matthew Curry filling in. So let's clap at um, Matthew Curry there. Awesome. All right. So here is It Came From The Garage. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so our next song. All right, so um, it came from the garage. It didn't really fit into the theme. Again, that was a little kind of a treat for us to do. But now we're getting back into the theme that we had. Um, so the next song is called Elysium. So um, Elysium was basically the um, place where warriors or heroes would go and kind of live out their days, um, doing whatever they would want to do, whether it was fighting or whether it was playing drums. All right, so we're taking that um, way to it. All right, can we have our other marimbas out here that's in the front row? Come out, please. So, so we have taken this part to be more of a theatrical um, part of it. So we also are using uh, battery percussion as well. All right, so we're gonna do a little sound check because I want to make sure we have so. So, can our keyboards? Can you play something, please? Good. Can you play a little bit more? Just good. Play something. Phil, can you play something? Thank you. Awesome. Great. So, I guess that's not here. All right. Great. So, this is Elysium. Thank you. 
Great, thank you. Um, so this, we're heading into our last piece, uh, which is called Saber Dance. So obviously from the title, it's gonna have some sort of dance. So um, what I did was got some of my current and um, future hallmen uh, who are in the play um, Sherwood to come out and help us out. So I came up with a little bit of choreography for them to do. Um, and we'll get to see them do their stuff. I'm kind of like wasting time until people get to where they need to be. Awesome. Got some mallets. All right, so this is Saber Dance. Again, thank you for um, coming tonight. Um, thank you for Mr. Um, Acton and um, Mr. Smith um, for helping us and supporting us throughout this thank you for administration. Also, thank you for all the technical stuff um, Russell Nate and uh, Mr. Gordon Neal has done, as well as all the sound guys um, and lights guys. So um, Ryan Hebler and Robbie Stewart and Jose Rivas. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great night.